Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers in full effect for you guys today. Um, we have a first look, first impressions. Uh, we got it in hand of the Jordan 32 low. Um, we do have the highs, obviously, um, and we did performance test those, but now, you know, we got the lows. Yes, shout out to Jordan Brand. Yep. Of course, they sent us so sent these over. And uh, this is the low version. Uh, this is the band colorway. It says uh, band right here. And yeah. it has the date on it. It says October 18th on the back. What is that? MJ Day? Or something, October right? Uh, I'm not sure what I that know. is. That's what I read. It's like it's coming out on MJ Day or something. Right. I have no idea. But um, so yeah, it's the low. We did the performance review on the 32, just the regular version or the high. And it was, it's an okay shoe, you know? It's, it's not like our favorite to play in because mm -hmm. you know of course it was a little bulky and the traction wasn't like crazy good for me yeah. but other than that yeah it is a really nice premium shoe um but with the low just putting it on it just feels high-end like like a ferrari or something yeah. it just feels super nice and um one thing uh also that's, that's kind of weird but i just really love is that it's really easy to put on Oh yeah, super you just easy. you know just kind of like slide your foot in, but it does have like really weird like it has a really deep what do you call it, lip or whatever yeah yeah pronounced lip so heel slippage is not you know it's not there you know it, yeah. your heel is locked in and stuff but of course um, I did play in it a few times already um, but the traction seems to be better than the regular the the, mm. the all red ones what was it called Rosso or Rosso oh, Rosso Corso yeah or whatever. For some reason, it st seems to be sticking a little bit better. Huh. You know, like the the all red one, like kind of slid out. You know, like the thirty ones did, but this one it sticks a little bit better. So, mm. uh, hopefully, the traction is better on this. But the cushion, of course, is the same exact um, setup as the regular version. Mm -hmm. The and upper also is the yes. same, except it's obviously lower. Yes. Uh, they brought the wings down a little bit. They still have this really gnarly heel counter. It's so like bulky it's crazy. and big, you know. I don't really like it. It's the craziest heel counter I've ever seen. Yeah. I think. It's kind of um, weird. I mean it's definitely supportive, so yeah. there's that. Um it do doesn't feel like the lightest shoe either, and it's not. Yes. Uh well at least the high isn't. We haven't weighed these, but I could already imagine. Yes, and um so Jordan did send me a size seven in this, which is a, a half a size smaller than what I usually get, and the size is really, really nice. It's perfect for me. Yeah. Um. So I guess go down half a size if you can. Yeah, for know? sure. I went down half a size. These are these are uh, 14s. They yeah. sent me out 14s, but it's still it's a narrow fit, so it's still snug. Yeah. Which is cool, and having a little bit of uh, length is doesn't really hurt too much if you have a nice narrow fit but in your rosa courses you got a size 13 right yep okay yeah all right so that those, those fit, fit like a glove yeah yeah these fit really it's just super narrow you know this a long shoe yeah so watch out if you're a wide footer um but it does stretch out over time so if it's a little if it's a little tight you know just a little snug then it should be fine mm -hmm. in the long run um but um first impressions these are super nice and i love how um minimal and like not as bulky yeah. you know it feels uh you know as opposed to the regular version and so, it just feels premium yes, i mean it, you know if you're yeah. gonna pay, pay pay a premium price it's nice to have it really feel premium and yes this is one of the more premium feeling sh you know performance basketball shoes there is yes that's one thing jordan always really does well um Let's check in on the weight. Yes. There. So the uh, the Rosa Corsas were freaking heavy. Mine were yeah. uh, freaking what, like fifteen point five ounces. That's the heaviest basketball shoe that we've ever weighed in, you know. But let's check the lows, you know. Okay, that's okay. That's pretty fucking heavy. Out. That's nuts. Here, let's weigh mine. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> Twenty point seven four ounces. Yeah, that's that's pretty heavy. Mine was what fourteen point four ounces. Yeah. Yeah, 14.46 ounces, which is pretty damn heavy. Does it feel heavy? I mean, you're creeping up on a pound. That, yeah. Well, right. what is it? Like 17 ounces 16 or something? 16 ounces. 16 ounces. Pound. I mean, this is, yeah, it's a pretty heavy shoe. Uh, I feel like they could have shed down on the weight a little bit, especially in the heel counter here and then, like, kind of maybe the like, leather materials. But, you know, they yeah. wanted to keep it, like, uh, premium, I guess. So they, that's what they added, but uh, for performance basketball shoe, I don't really think that was necessary. Yeah. Uh, but it does feel a lot lighter though, obviously, you know, it feels less bulky, yeah. less, you know, stuff on your ankle and shit. And hopefully it won't be as hot because the, yeah. the, the, the regular is really hot as well. Yes. 
Um, you got a little more breathability in the ankle, which is, you know, hopefully it will do something. Mm -hmm. But that's our first impressions of the Jordan 32. Very this, good. In this band colorway, the Jordan 32 low, of course. Shouts out to Jordan for sending us these, but we will give you our full unadulterated uh, performance review on these ASAP. Uh, so stick around, make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, all that. Uh, Soul Brothers, we'll catch you in the next one. Later. Thanks.